Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Jericho24. If you clicked on this video, you're probably aware of the drama storm that has Queen Pwns a lot. For those of you that don't know and been living underneath a rock, well you're in for quite the treat today. In this video we're going to be explaining how exactly she has upset the Monster Hunter community. First and foremost, I'd like to preference that this video is a simple passion project as I am a huge Monster Hunter fan and an avid lover of challenge runs in general. So when a topic this huge comes up with both of these, it's gonna catch my eye. For context, challenge running is a form of gameplay where you impose self-restricting rules to make gameplay harder. No hit runs in Dark Souls, Pokemon Nuzlocke runs are all perfect examples of this form of gameplay, as they are both designed to show the player's skill and to make the game much more enjoyable to watch and much harder. So before we get started, there are quite a few disclaimers that I have to get out of the way. The first being that I do not own any of the clips in this video you're about to see as the videos I will be using will be linked in the description where you can watch the videos in full. Secondly, I do not condone the spreading of harassment or hate to anyone in this video, as that is not the point of this video. Secondly, I do want to give a personal thanks to all the content creators who did all the hard work to even make this video remotely possible, so please go to their channels and show them some love. And if you guys just want to go above and beyond, just leaving a like and a comment on my video would really mean a lot to me, as it would tell me if you want to see more of this uh, type of content from me, and if you just overall just enjoyed what I had to put out for you. And again, a huge thank you for all you who clicked on this video and giving a nobody YouTuber like me the time of day. Now, let's dive into how one streamer turned the majority of the Monster Hunter community against her. Queen Pwnslot started her journey on YouTube three years ago, on February 7th, 2021. She uploaded mostly highlights from her Twitch, with Twitch being the vast majority of her popularity and where all of her content did in fact come from. But I'm sure you're asking, well, why are we just now hearing about her now? A video posted February 1st, 2024, in which she posted a highlight clip of her killing Elytrion blindfolded. This clip would find its way to the mega tycoon of reaction content himself, Asmongold. On February 5th, 2024, he reacted to her video live on stream where he would then upload it to YouTube. Now, anyone who's watched Asmongold knows the absolute gamer god that he is, so he believed this run to be real. But surely it is, right? He even said so himself. I mean, listen. Is it really hard to believe that somebody couldn't pull this off after 4,000 kills? I bet, I bet this is real. Well, what if it wasn't real? As with anything of this magnitude and importance, there are sure to be speculations and questions of the legitimacy of its claim. Monster Hunter is hard enough as it is, so beating what is considered to be the toughest monster in the game with no sight takes an incredible amount of skill. And, of course, with anything like this, the internet does what the internet does best, and that's proved you wrong. February 5th, 2024, a Monster Hunter speedrunner by the name of Juzy was quick to challenge the blindfolded run. Rather than take a look at the video of the kill, Juzy went a bit of a different route and looked at the past attempts that ended in failure, which stirred up quite a bit of questions. First being how she was able to choose the dialogue options of her disconnect that were in the middle of the screen. She was able to find the exact center of the screen reliably, and was able to click on it rather quickly. Another observation that he made was that her eye tracking software would sometimes actually pick up her eye movements every now and then, despite having her blindfold on. Now, you could just chalk this up to software malfunction or error, but it still is a little cause for alarm. But the real nail in the coffin was the fact that she was able to run around ice pillars that spawned from certain attacks uh, from Elytrion. These ice pillars have fixed locations, so it is possible that she was able to memorize where they're located on the map. But the problem with this being is how does she know where she is on the map? Before we get into the next part of the video, I feel like I should uh, mention a few things. I will be paraphrasing a lot of what I'm about to say here as I did try to reach out to quite a few content creators to get permission to be able to use uh, their clips in the video, but to no avail. And so I would rather not try to use a lot of their voices in their videos without permission as I did put quite a bit of time and effort into this video, and I would really not like it to get taken down. So, with that out of the way, let's continue. So about this time, Juzy would reach out for help to a well-respected, blindfolded Super Mario 64 speedrunner by the name of Bubsia to get his opinion on the matter. On February 7th, 2024, Bubsia would make a YouTube video on this topic, where his first point of mention would be the camera movements in the video, and how smooth and precise they were. He raised suspicion over the fact that when she was moving the camera, she would also always have the dragon in the center of the screen. This would be a huge red flag as most often than not in blindfolded runs in any game, moving the camera is unnecessary and at sometimes can actually be a very huge detriment to the player. 
typically in any sort of game like this, if you are wanting to look at the monster, you have to constantly keep tapping the lock on button to have them constantly stay in focus. His second point of contention was her weapon. For those unfamiliar with Monster Hunter, the weapon that she uses is called the Greatsword. It is a very slow charging and heavy hitting weapon. The weapon itself relies on a deep understanding of the game and keen understanding of the monster itself. Some parts of the monster are weaker than others. And in this fight, breaking Elytrion's horns causes him to topple over, which reduces the elemental change damage. Failing to do this will just often end up in just a failed run. And yes, sure, Queen Pwn's Law definitely does have the experience, but using a weapon like this while blindfolded? Now that takes some serious skill. Bubsia would go on to mention that her accuracy with the weapon was abnormally really high, almost as if she was able to see where she was hitting. Constantly throughout her video, you could see her making ever so slight micro adjustments during the charge, almost as if she knew she wasn't going to be able to hit the head if she didn't do so. With these points, Bubsia then concluded that the run was fake and was to be considered not legitimate. Now, about this time, Queen's video started to pick up a lot of attention, as more and more content creators and Monster Hunter players alike would chime in with their own reasons as to why they thought the run was fake. Carl Jobs made a video on February 19th, 2024, followed by Moist Critical on February 22nd, 2024, in which they both gave their own two cents on the matter. For those who may not know Carl, he is a content creator with 1 million subscribers, whose content consists of exposing video game cheaters, talking about major controversies in the gaming space, and even major gaming milestones. In this video, Carl mentions how her camera was also just a bit too fluid, as well as how she never used the lock-on to snap onto the body of the monster, almost as if she knew where the monster was. He also mentioned that due to the fact of muscle memory, after using an item she would tilt her camera up and then tilt it back down. But why would this matter if it's just muscle memory? Well, this matters for a lot of things. As a monster hunter, there's no way for the game to tell you if you're looking up or really in any other direction. So being able to move your camera like this in the middle of a boss fight while being blindfolded raised suspicions as when she would do this, she would quickly correct it with no real trouble. For instance, try putting your mouse in the middle of the screen. Now close your eyes and move the mouse up two inches and then back down two inches. Is it in the same position? If so, congratulations. But now try doing that in a game that's fairly loud with sound effects and using every other directional input the game allows. And again, being blindfolded. With skepticism building of the legitimacy of her run, Queen felt like she had to act, and that's exactly what she did. On February 14th, she went live once again, but this time, it was to prove us wrong. And this was how. So I contacted Mitra's a world record Sekiro blindfolded speedrunner for my own expert consultation. After some discussion with him and recommendations, I set up a forward facing camera showing my hands and monitor, covered my other monitors completely, installed keyboard inputs into my stream, kept my eye tracker on, and purchased a standardized blindfold used by numerous other official blindfolded runners. In response to all of the criticism I've received, I recorded an updated live run in its unedited and unadulterated form. I've also prepared counterpoints to defend my original video and also want to share my final thoughts. On February 14th, 2024, in the moments leading up to her stream, Queen would take the time to debunk a lot of the theories people had and the accusations made against her. One being that her old blindfold was too thin and that you were able to see through it. Another being the idea that she faked the gameplay. And so to counter this, she used hand cams and an input display on screen. Lastly, the accusations of her old blindfold and that it was see-through. So with help from the Monster Hunter community and other blindfolded runners, she picked a new blindfold that was in fact proven to be non-see-through. Even having paper over her screen just to prove in case she was able to see through the blindfold that she couldn't actually see the screen itself. And to give credit where credit is due, the paper does look like you can't see through it. With this iron defense, there was no way anyone could disprove her run. And yet again, another Elytrion blindfold kill happened. Even Asmongold had this to say. But anyway, yeah, it looks like the Altrion blindfold kill was actually real. It did actually happen. Oh, Asmongold, you sweet, sweet, innocent baby. See, before we get into the run itself, it's important that we address some inaccuracies. One being Queen's old blindfold. Many in the community were quick to point out how the old blindfold looked much different. It appeared as though additional material was sewn inside of the blindfold, as the one in her actual run was much, much thinner. Anyone who was able to point this out in the chat was met with a very quick and swift timeout war ban. With that out of the way, let's get back to it. 
February 29th, Carl would upload his second video on the matter, and oh boy, is it a good one. If you haven't already, or you want to hear it from the horse's mouth, I highly, highly recommend that you watch his video in full, as he goes into way more detail than I can. One of his first claims was yet again the tracking of the dragon, and just how smooth it was. This was a point for many content creators that would mention in her past runs as well. The idea of a cheat software was mentioned by Carl and a few other creators, but the evidence didn't exactly stick for it as it is kind of really hard to tell. Another point mentioned was after her kill, Queen would lift the paper covering off of our monitor. And, well, we didn't see the game. It was a Windows Start menu, which makes sense as you can see her press the Windows key many times throughout her stream. Although this makes sense since she was blindfolded, meaning that she was going to be hitting keys that she didn't exactly mean to since she can't see her keyboard. This was still a problem though, as this is seemingly the only time that she's ever hit the Windows key throughout any of her streams. And she's never once said anything about it, especially when pressing the Windows key, she had lost control of her character for several seconds while she tried to fix it. So while this may not seem like a big deal, I promise it will be fueled to the fire later on, especially when we eventually do find out how she cheated. Carl at this point made a very huge discovery. During the prep stream, Queen's screen input showed her holding down right click on her mouse for long periods of time while moving her mouse subtly. Now, I'll ask you this question. What do you do on a computer that requires you to hold click and move your mouse? If you suggested moving a window, you'd be correct. That's because there was actually a third hidden monitor hidden from the stream's view. Queen was dragging windows from one monitor to another, to her hidden monitor. And yes, I can hear all of you asking how everyone is sure that's what happened. And to that I say, Queen was observed during the stream looking off to her right quite a lot, as though she was looking at something, a different monitor perhaps. In the camera view, we can only see two monitors at random intervals. Queen would lift up the paper as if to look underneath them for something chat related. But there are many times where she doesn't and looks into the camera that's probably mounted on top of the monitor. Later in that stream, what I consider to be a career ending moment, she read chat off of the hidden monitor, which had her OBS open, and in a panic, Queen would stop mid-sentence, and you could see the oh shit moment appear on her face, as she quickly tried to read it off another monitor and try to cover up her slip up. But now, Queen equipped with the new blindfold, she was ready to try and prove that everyone was wrong. Now, for those who are extremely observant, they may have already put the pieces of the puzzle together. For one, how did she cheat? If she had a blindfold that chat recommended to her, and was even used by real blindfolded speedrunners. Sure, she had OBS on a hidden monitor, which kind of destroys any credibility that she had left, but how exactly did she cheat? Well, if you guessed that she was peeking through a peek hole in the blindfold, well, you'd be correct. When Queen put on her blindfold, a few people noticed that she tilted her head back quite a bit. This is a position that was drastically different from the previous run that she had. This new position was obviously due to the new blindfold, as she had to position herself differently in a way that she could still see through the gap between her nose. Juzi, who I mentioned earlier, proves this and exactly how she did it during her stream. With this proof, the fraud was exposed and the Tower of Lies finally crumbled. However, I do ask you this. Do you think she faked the entire thing? Or is this all just one big giant coincidence? Let me know in the comments. Now, this would be the end of the video. However, as of editing, a lot of news has come to light. Due to the publicity that Queen Poemslot was getting, she decided to private her Twitter and YouTube accounts as she has been receiving a lot of hate and dox attacks. I will make this very clear, I do not agree with any of this. And I ask once again, to no one send hate to anyone mentioned in this video. There are numerous, numerous ways to be able to show your anger and disagreement while not being harsh and being gentle about it and still getting your point across. Now, moving on yet again. The Giga Gamer himself, Gold, would react to this video of the second speed run by Carl during one of his streams in which one of Queen's moderators came into chat and asked him if he would be a part of an interview to try and prove all the disbelievers wrong, which, as a side note, is very cringy. I'll paraphrase this video as much as I can and show little bits and pieces of the clips, but it is almost an hour long, and I'd rather you just watch the entire video Asmin Gold has up on his channel that I'll have linked in the description. The interview starts with one of Queen's mods typing in Asmin's chat asking if they would be able to speak for her, in which Asmin says yes, and they proceed to go into a Discord call. And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to be referring to this individual as the mod. Now, the mod mentions on many occasions how they watch queens run live and in person many times. And to give the mod credit, they do seem pretty sincere about what they're saying. The mod brings up Mitriz, who is a blindfold Sekiro speedrunner, 
and was the one who suggested the blindfold uh, for Queen to wear in her second run. If I'm honest, while watching this video, I began to have my doubts. I started to think that maybe we were all wrong, and that maybe we were all just trying to look for something that wasn't there. However, this feeling soon went away as the interview went on, as the mod just failed to defend many points Asmin kept bringing up. And so, uh, do you think that she cheated? I know for a fact that she didn't. Okay, how do you know that? Because I've watched her do it myself live. I also helped with communication with Mitriz, the blindfold expert who's been helping her with the setup and everything that we went through. Mm -hmm. I, I want to legitimately ask, what would it take to prove that she is indeed legitimate? If it meant covering the third monitor, showing a camera with all three monitors, and showing that there are no other monitors present, here, the mod confirms the use of a third monitor, which I find funny since Queen seemed really keen on keeping it a secret. More so, this only confirms Carl's hypothesis and that there was a third monitor, and how that this was the leading reason for her cheating. Though, this does beg the question, if she truly wasn't using a third monitor to cheat, then why was she trying to keep it a secret? The mod stated multiple times that Queen is being accused of something that she didn't do, despite the evidence being pretty damning. Even though there isn't 100% proof, that what Queen showed was a cheated run, I can still confidently say that the odds are not in her favor, especially if this is all just one big crazy coincidence. The hiding of the third monitor, the dragging of OBS, suspicious posture, perfect gameplay and camera movement, tampering with her blindfold, and reading off chat where the hidden monitor was, and playing it off like she never did it. It just doesn't add up. Why do you think that she tilted her head in a different angle whenever she was wearing the other blindfold? Asmin's first question relates to Queen's position of her body and head with the new blindfold. Many claim that she had her head up and the blindfold on loosely so that she could see through a gap in her nose and watch the game through OBS on her third monitor. Well, the first, you mean the, well, do you mean that the second blindfold versus the first? Yeah. Sure. Whenever you're under a stress response, your body reacts differently. You position yourself differently. In the very first run when she's wearing the first blindfold, it was a carefree run on stream done with friends for a random, hey, I wonder if I can do this. It was a completely different circumstance. My, under understanding, the second of the, condition. my understanding of the psychological body language, whenever that happens, people usually actually huddle up more to protect their, like, their mid-body because that's where your organs are. That's where, mm, that's, you know... Oh, I'm, I, a, I, I'm a physician. I'm a physician. You, you don't. That's not. That's not true. true. The mod doesn't have much of a counterclaim to this, as they just claim that they're a physician, and the audience should just take their word for it and just have this be fact. Now, I may not be a physician, but I don't need to be one to understand that something doesn't quite add up here. I'd ha be happy to send you the same blindfold she used. I would encourage you to try to do what she's been accused of doing. During this clip, the mod encourages anyone to use the same blindfold to see how hard it is to be able to see out of, which people decided to do. Though this blindfold was suggested by uh, Mitriz and picked out by the community, it's not perfect. If worn correctly, it functions as a blindfold. Bubsy and Juicy both made videos using the exact same blindfold, in which they both wore the blindfold loosely and leaned back in their chair and were able to mimic the exact same setup that Queen had and, well, yeah, they were able to win the game that they were playing. But, but I also want to bring up the point that it doesn't seem like anybody else has been held to the standard that she's been held to. We have CSI investigating experts that have been going to every single length, looking to even the reflections on her phone, trying to analyze what's on that screen. And yet no other professional has been held to the same standard that she has been. No one's Why asking everyone else to have... Well, I think it's because of the initial conjecture that she faced when she did her first run. And she's, she is a nobody that decided to do this on a whim, and that caught the entire world uh, by storm. Now, this is a rather good point that the mod made, and that Queen is being investigated and ripped apart on YouTube. And I feel like we need to address that thought a little bit. You see, people in any community know what it's like to play their game. You may see a vast majority of people saying it's easy to them, but are those people trying no-hit runs, level 1 speed runs? While some do it for clout, others do it because they just love the game they play, and that's why they do it. The base game has gotten too easy for them, and to keep their passion alive, they look to challenge the game using challenge runs. Which brings up the hate that Queen has been getting, as to most, this blindfold run is just a blatant lie and a falsehood and almost a spit in the face. They feel cheated and attacked, and they must defend them not only themselves, but the game that they love. 
this is why you've probably seen so, so many videos on this topic. Because to a lot, this is a kick to the stomach and a challenge to their skill. So then how do you she think tried... she was able to, uh, like, rebalance the camera? Because I think because that's she... been, that's one, one of the main sure. points of difference. Sure. The person who taught her how to fight that monster is one of the world's leading experts, Azrael, who has 8,700 kills on the monster and what taught her to how do? to do it. Well, because it's, it, it teaches her how to do it the exact same way every single time. And the camera balancing is actually not that hard to do. I myself am no expert. I can't do it. But other people that have very well, similar kill if counts it's are not, able to do it. If it's not that hard to do, then why can nobody else do it in the blindfold I community? Don't, because I think it's too early. I think that this is in such well, a fledgling stage. You saying it's too early for any other game? Because, like, like you know, you there's, mean? for example, like, you know, like Little Aggie. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. He's also a speedrunner for Sekiro. Mm -hmm. I'm sure mm -hmm. he's probably killed a lot of the bosses in Sekiro mm -hmm. probably as many times, if not more times than she's killed Altrion. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and he's using lock on. So, like, well, how is sure. it that every single other person in this community is not able to rebalance their camera in any circumstance on any game? in any capacity without a lock-on, but she was. Here, Asmongold asked the question of her camera movements, and while I'll give the mod credit, he did give a reason, just not a very great one. Here we have confirmation that Queen was trained by another blindfold speedrunner, who will be making an appearance later on in the interview. See, Monster Hunter is not a game that you can blindfold easily. You see, most blindfolded runners will run a game that they enjoy, but mostly, We'll have a game with setup. Take Mario 64 for an example. Any blindfold run of that game has a lot of precise setup to do even a simple jump or to walk in a specific direction. Monster Hunter has very little setup that you can do as the player. Take the time to search up any blindfold run in Monster Hunter and you will see it will look dramatically different than what you've been watching. Both the mod and Asmund Gold comment on this and it's cause it's just not possible to play the game like this. I've seen her do this. How would you expect anybody not. else to believe that? I, I, I welcome the skepticism, but I'm then also questioning she, whether... What, why I'm, hasn't I'm, she well, responded I, to it at all? Well, because she was waiting for everyone's response, including the second video from Carl Jobs. And including your response. Yeah, sure. The mod here mentions how Queen has remained silent due to waiting for major content creators to post their videos before replying. And I 100% understand this. As a small-time content creator, it's not very easy, and I've been working on this for about a week and a half now, and I'll admit, it's not my best work, it doesn't look great, it sure isn't pretty, so I can understand needing to wait for all the information to get out there, for you to gather it, then edit it all, and have it become something that you're happy with, especially for the level of her standard. I cannot think of a single instance where turning off a monitor will affect the inputs and the OBS read of that monitor. Mm -hmm. So, as been mentioned, how she could just turn off her monitor rather than leave it on or even cover them. The mod here claims that it would actually interfere with her dual monitor setup and her streaming software. So, I use Streamlabs, and I'm a baby streamer, so I 100% have no qualifications to have any sort of thoughts or opinions on this matter. Though, this is a topic that's been brought up a lot by many YouTubers. And so, I can't exactly cover it all. I do highly recommend that you watch Asmin Gold's video to get the full context. And mm -hmm. you can see that she's holding down the mouse button and then moving and dragging a uh, a window around like this. That, correct. Right. right. I, I, sure. I know. I understand what she's been accused of. I, I understand that. And I don't know what m window she was moving into where, but I know that she did not move it to her third ch chat monitor in view. Or Excuse me. She did not move OBS to her chat monitor and look through her blindfold to watch OBS to complete her run. Mm -hmm. And how do you know that? I've seen her do it. Again, this is not a valid reason. You can't have a question asked and your response be, well, because I've seen her do it. No one will believe your biased reasons, and no one is going to trust your words. That's the point of this interview, is for you to try and disprove a lot of the things wrong, as you have inside knowledge, and you're able to say how the stream was set up. I've spoken with Mitch Riz, and he is on the fence, admittedly, 
And one of the things that he mentioned in his initial message, this is why she actually didn't cover up her monitors at first when she was thinking about setting. Yeah, sure. He flat out, he flat out said, if you, if you have a proper blindfold on your face, it wouldn't matter if the monitor's in front of your face. Here, we do have confirmation that the runner who helped Queen is a bit on the fence of the legitimacy of a run. And I do believe this to be true, and it is nice to hear that the mod is at least being honest, and to say that he's not too sure if he believes them. I can't say it helps their claim, but it is nice to hear, as it does add a little bit to their credibility. Here, Mitriz actually joins the interview, and this is where things get a bit juicy. First, he confirms that the mod said earlier about him being on the fence is true. Ms. Fitz then elaborates, saying that it's not his own beliefs, but it's more of the internet's beliefs, and that he's on the side of it being fake. What's your uh, What's your thoughts? Uh, uh, so I'm I'm just a hundred percent on the side of you know evidence, letting people prove things, you know, things coming to where they are, not leaving anything on belief, and uh, the evidence right now, I think, and I've told Dapper this, I think the evidence right now points pretty uh, strongly in the way of not meeting, uh, I would say, the proof that would be needed for blindfolded. I tried doing some research to try and find more about Azrael, but I couldn't find too much. But this was the expert that supposedly showed Queen how to move the camera like she did. But we not only have one, but two blindfolded runners of different genre of games, both saying her camera movements are just impossible to do blindfolded. Or if they are, it's not going to look very pretty. Is there anything uh, that, like, for example, like Carl didn't have in his video where I haven't caught? Uh, there, There is uh, a couple of things. So, right. well, I mean, the biggest thing is is... From the get-go, the camera movement, of course, was uh, humanly impossible, I think is a good way to put it, where it's not impossible impossible, it's just humanly impossible. As Mingold here asks if it's possible for Mistrix, a Sekiro blindfolded runner with the attempt number of 160 versus Queen's two dozen attempts on Elytreon, if he could do one of the first bosses blindfolded with no lock on, while having him stay in the center of the screen. And, well, let's just say his answer didn't disappoint. Could you do Giobo blindfolded without lock-on at all? Um... Be because the majority of the attempts, and if you could, mm -hmm. how sloppy would it be? Oh, it would be, it would be very sloppy. I can guarantee it would be sloppy. Um, the main thing for fighting... Anything in Sekiro is that you have to be looking at them. Otherwise, the deflect just doesn't function. They'll just hit you from behind. I don't think the viewers would have a good experience because every time that uh, I do that, if I can't use lock-on to center my camera vertically, every single time I end up staring at the floor or staring at, up into the sky. I, I can never keep the camera in the middle at all. And this is with a but boss I that think you... It could be possible but this is with the boss that you i mean i'm assuming out of 160 attempts you probably got to Giobo at least half of the time right if not pretty much all the time pretty much all the time so context for the clip you're about to see mitrix mentioned how queen had the third monitor intentionally hidden and this went against what he advised her to do see in private messaging he stated to do a run like this that she should show all of her monitors and the room itself um, okay, so what I, yeah, what I said exactly is, if you only show that the monitors in front of you are turned off, then it's always possible to have a monitor that isn't shown on the camera, unless you set up like 10 cameras to capture every inch of the room. So that is that is what I said. I specifically mentioned, you need to, I, I guess I didn't say you need to show this, but I said, if you don't show all of them, it's always possible to have one off screen that isn't shown. That is what I said. The mod states yet again how they want to work with the community to prove that this is real. I had to skip over a big portion of the interview, mostly them talking about the monitor and how it's a problem if they turn it off. As, again, I don't want to overstep any of my boundaries with Asmongold and risk my video getting taken down. But here, the mod agrees that next attempt that they will turn the monitors off. But who knows if that will actually happen, as it is he who's agreeing, not Queen herself. So... About this time in the interview, the mod brings in Asriel. This is the person who taught Queen to move the camera so fluid-like. He then makes the claim of doing the same blindfolded run using the same technique two years ago, but not having any proof of this feat. How many times have you killed the boss? 
Uh, 8,800. Okay. Do you think that the kill that she did while she was blindfolded was legitimate? I do. Why? Uh, there's been a lot of times that I've seen her personally run it in Discord. Can you do it? I did it two years ago. Where? Two, three years ago, something like that. In my own personal Discord once upon a time. He showed mm -hmm. that she had the mouse button clicked down, and then yeah. the mouse was also detecting, because the mouse, it detects all movement, right? Including correct. So and by the same token, movement. she could have been dragging Spotify, she could have been dragging whatever over there, correct? Here, Ezreal brings up a very valid point, and that being it may not have been OBS. With the third monitor hidden, we only know that she moved something over there due to the on-screen controls, and Queen constantly looking over there and even reading chat off of it. This, of course, was when they were still trying to hide the fact that they had a third monitor. But what's important to know is to look at both sides, as this is what makes the proper argument in interview. We never saw OBS get moved. All we saw was that a window was moved. As the community just assumed it was OBS since she read chat off of it, and the fact that she, again, tried to hide the monitor and constantly looks over at it. But again, I had to gloss over a lot of the interview, but the mod brought in another mod who held with Queen's PC setup. In this interview, he mentioned Queen normally has Chatty on her third monitor, and that's why she looks over at it periodically, and that's probably what she dragged. This would explain the fact that she read chat off of it, but wouldn't explain why she stopped mid-sentence and to read it off of another monitor. Oh boy. And with that, we've reached the end of the video. This was way more of an endeavor than I thought it was going to be, but... I loved it and I look forward to the challenge as a new content creator. For those who care, I'm under the belief that both of the runs are fake. However, the sheer tenacity of both the mods and Asriel shown kind of have me wondering if maybe I'm wrong. They truly believe the runs to have been real and they never backed down and I do admire that from them. But let's all remember, at the end of the day, this is only just internet drama. And to those who dox and harass Queen, all I have to say is shame on you. It's just uncalled for. Most of us here are adults, and we can show our disappointment in many other ways. Moving on from that, there really isn't any other news besides Queen Pones a lot's Twitter and YouTube still being private. And there's no word from her, though if I had to take a guess, it's probably as of mods mentioned, and there's waiting for major content creators to say their piece. Now, if you found this video useful or entertaining, I implore you to give it a like and a comment. It really would mean a lot to me. I rarely post on YouTube, so if you want to say hi, come to one of my streams, maybe even join my Discord, and just tell me how you felt about the video. And please, please, please remember to check out the links in the description for all the unedited videos from the other creators, because without them, I wouldn't be making this video right now. Well, with all that out of the way, my name's Jericho24. Until next time, peace.